What is up everyone? 8-Bit Days a Week is back after a long hiatus and um, yeah, it has a voice now. I'm gonna be speaking and today obviously we're going to do just an unboxing of the PlayStation Classic. It just arrived today, December 3, 2018. It was announced just a few months ago, October I believe. and. Um, just like the Super Nintendo release by Nintendo, um, it's a miniaturized version of their older console with preloaded games. I'm sure you all, all know that by now, but so uh, let's take a look. And uh, actually, one thing I immediately noticed, the rating is higher than I expected. But I guess with the types of games it has, which will go about in a while, as we see here. I'm sorry. So there, 20 games. Um, some fighters, puzzle games, and um, action games, and even a first-person shooter. Uh, we have... Battle Arena Toshinden, Cool Borders, Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy VII, Grand Theft Auto, the first one, that's probably why this got a, a high rating. Intelligent Cube, Jumping Flash, I believe one of the earliest PlayStation games there. Metal Gear Solid, we all know that. Mr. Driller, Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, Rayman, Resident Evil Director's Cut Persona, the first one R4 Ridge Razor Type 4 Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo Siphon Filter Tekken 3 Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Twisted Metal and Wild Arms And there you go, Strong Violence, right? Now if anyone's curious the Japanese version is actually containing different games, um, most of which are JRPGs, Parasite Eve, Saga Frontier, Ark the Lad, and its sequel. And there's also Armored Core, Gradius Gaiden, Gaiden, sorry, and G Darius. This one lacks some shmups as opposed to the Japanese version. So, alright, as mentioned, this thing just arrived, it hasn't been open yet. I'll go ahead and cut this thing. Okay. And we get another box. So this one's kind of nice. It's clean. Box within a box. And of course, let's just go ahead and open it. There's not much around here. It's just white, clean box. It's probably good for storing things. PlayStation branded, of course. And there you go. Um, okay. This is how it looks like. It's like framed, like the the console is framed on the box, and um, the manuals, which probably nobody ever reads. I used to read them a lot when I was young, though. Okay. Um, okay. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Probably well, we need to remove this first. There. Oh, well. Might as well take a look. And it's so small indeed. That, I guess that's the end thing right now. Have miniaturized versions of older consoles. Of course, that has been already been going on for a few years now. 
even before Nintendo released its NES Classic. But the earlier ones, of course, are of uh, not good quality. It was um, mostly I know is the one from At Games. We had the Atari Atari flashback in television, and ColecoVision flashbacks. Of course, there's also those miniaturized arcade things that like contained Pac-Man or Galaga. All right, now that the console's out, I'm just gonna try to open this. So this is what you see underneath. It's uh, basically um, two controllers, which has the um, PlayStation controller that predates the Dual Shock or Dual Analog look. I actually had the original version before. Uh, too bad I don't have it right here right now so I could do a comparison, but um, You know from what I know it it really looks the same How it feels and of course it, this one connects via USB USB I wonder if eventually we can connect other kinds of USB controllers here and uh, HDMI Cable? No, wait, this USB cable probably for the power. It looks like it uses uh, this USB Type B. Oh, wait, it should be on the box. Um, nope, doesn't say what kind. Anyway, it's not important as long as it works. Uh, HDMI cable. All right. And now well, that's it. That's uh, what's inside the box. Let's try to open one of the controllers now. There you go. Looks good. Feels good. And yes, from what I remember, this is exactly how it felt. No, wait, actually, no. The buttons. The face buttons feel kind of different from what I remember. This feels a lot stiffer, actually, maybe because it's new, I don't know. But yeah, I feel something different here, just from based from my um, memory, of course. Um, yeah, just for comparison, I still have with me, though, is PlayStation 2 controller. What's it? Dual Shock 2. So, just missing the analogs, but it's roughly roughly the same size there. And, you know, since I have here the PlayStation Classic, might as well look how it looks like beside the SNES Classic. So, yeah, if you put it that way, they're around the same size. See, I guess people might be wondering if they could just put like a Raspberry Pi or something inside and have it installed with more games since this is basically an emulation box but focusing on uh, uh, PlayStation titles. Mm, might as well. Here's also the controller. I um, honestly still prefer the SNES um, style. The D-pad is still more comfortable for me, but I guess you need more buttons for this with the PlayStation games. And um, let's see if it has the laughably short cable that a NES Classic had. Um, hmm, how do I show this? Anyway, um, I'm just gonna pull it beside my SNES. Uh, 
Um, all right. The it's a bit, just a bit shorter than the SNES Classic uh, cable length, and um, that actually has a longer cable by a bit than the NES Classic. So. Um, at least you get an idea how long or short it is, depending on your preference. Of course, it's, it doesn't compare to how long the cable of the original um, PlayStation controllers are. And alright, so uh, that's it for this video. It's only an unboxing, but um, I will try to review most of these games if I can, show some gameplay footage. Um, I'm sure you all have heard the um, controversy around this thing. I'll talk about it more soon. And um, for now, yeah, this is just, you know, you know what, maybe there's something special in here. Uh, nope. Yep, very standard, I guess. Okay. Well, this is 8-bit uh, days a week. Yep, I'm back. Thank you for watching. Please do continue to check out my um, other videos. I'll be doing more than just uh, gameplay videos from now on. I'll be speaking more regularly, I guess. And alright, thanks for watching.